Hi, welcome to Pack a Lunch. Today we're doing Swedish food. Sort of. Sort of. We're, we, uh, we, should, we should start that over. We usually introduce ourselves, don't we? And we didn't say there was a new season and shit. We should do that. Oh yeah, season thrice yeah. now with more rice. Hi, welcome to Pack a Lunch. Season thrice, now with more rice. I'm Steve, this is Rob. True story. We are today doing Swedish meatballs. Sort of. From hell. Kinda. From hell. Picture if you ate an Ikea that was burning down. Since we're continuing on our uh, rampant uh, exploitation of chili peppers, we're doing another ultra hot one today. It's rampant? This is the That's second one. fucking rampant, man. So we're doing another ultra hot today. We're doing one of the ultra hots, uh, the Trinidad Scorpion. Since you can't put that in any sort of food and make it good, we're going to. This is kind of going to be a shock thing. Uh, we're going to put them in Swedish meatballs and call them meatballs from hell. Uh, I apologize if that offends Swedes out there, but we won the gold medal this Olympics. You guys didn't. So... Sorry. Sorry. Sorry for being better. Do we even have any viewers in Sweden? I think we do. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure we do. Hi. We apologize for you having to live there. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We've shown you how to make meatballs. It's not really any different. Um, well, are you going to show them, or are we going to put it? Yeah, we're going to do it. So we're going to crumb some bread. So I'm just going to throw a couple slices of bread in the toaster. Don't you mean make bread crumbs? Crumb the bread. That's what I mean, crumb the bread. We're making bread crumbs. Crumb the bread. Making them. I'm using crumb as a verb here, and it's to crumb bread. It means, is that proper? Verb? That's what's happening. I'm drunk, okay? I don't know what you want from me. So we're crumbing the bread. I'm not arguing with them, I'm playing this game with you. Just rip bread up and put it in a blender. And, or I guess rip toast up. Yeah, it's not bread anymore. No. It stopped being bread a long time ago. It still don't count bread, it's just cooked bread. If it was still bread, they wouldn't call it toast. It's toasted bread. Show me your laptop for a second. Technically, you should use some, you know, one part ground beef, one part ground pork. We don't have any ground pork. All I have is ground beef, so that's gonna do. This doesn't sound very technical at all. Well, or you can use ground lamb, you can use ground chicken, whatever you want a meatball. I always just use beef. Beefish meatballs. I don't have time to mix animals. So you're gonna add your breadcrumbs, add a little bit. Probably not all of them. Probably. No. I'm not a science dishing. So you're gonna add an egg. That's very scientifical. Gonna add some nutmeg. Some cardamom. I don't know how much I'm putting in, whatever. Is it a Star Wars character, cardamom? I was getting in a mom tarkin. So now we're gonna puree a an onion. I was gonna call it a bunion. Onion. Just chop an onion. Or onion. It's like milk. So that's your pureed onion. How about a tablespoon or two of uh, butter? Butter. A little bit of milk or heavy cream in. Just gonna mix that up by hand. We've shown you how to do this before. Yeah, but now you're assuming that people who are watching this watch the previous episodes. They should. That specific one. Fake and gay. Looks meaty to me. It's Photoshop. I guess preheat your oven to 352. I guess we could do that. Look at how gnarly these things are. So I'm rolling the meatballs. As you can tell, I'm wearing gloves. Uh, you don't want to handle 
the Trinidad Scorpion with your bare hands. <coughs> I'm still burning really bad right now. And I just had a little bit of it. So, you're going to make them golf ball size. That's Golf ish balls. So it's bigger than golf balls. You can make them as big as as big as you want, I guess. I'm still burning. Doing the neutron dance? Silver side down, people, for science. There you go in the oven. 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah. I'm pretending I helped. All right, so we're doing a roux. So you're gonna put one part butter and one part flour. So how much is a part? If you do a tablespoon of butter, do a tablespoon of flour. So you're gonna make a kind of a thicker roux. So this is a spoon the size of a table. And we're gonna mix that all in until it makes a a pasty like substance. Like me. So you're gonna do that and let it cook for a little bit. Medium heat. Now you're gonna put your beef stock in there. Whisk it. Whisk it good. Crack that whisk. So now we're gonna add some Worcester sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Just enough to color it or whatever. And a little bit of milk. A little bit of a lot of milk. More flour just to thicken it up a little. You can also put some lingonberry. You're supposed to put some lingonberry jam in it. The hell is that? Lingonberry jam. Lincolnberry? Lingonberry. It's a type of berry. I got that from the berry part. Right, so after a while of heating and whisking, this is thickened up quite well. Now we're gonna add it to the uh, meatballs. We'll do it, we're crazy. The meatballs are almost done. So now you just add the gravy. This reminds me of Gremlins. Did you ever see that part where they get wet? A little bit, yeah. And you just, we're just gonna cook it for another five minutes and it'll be done. Cool. This was Swedish meatballs from hell using Trinidad Scorpions. That's our pepper of the episode on Pack Lunch, seasoned thrice, now with more rice. Pack Lunch. We'll do this. We'll film that, film the plate of it. You're a plate of it. Uh... That sounds like <laughs> something that would be on a fat lady. <laughs> That's in your head now. Oh. <laughs>